going to be the Kohli for the market from here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry, I just put you in a spot. <laughs> when you say Kohli, that means you're talking of the stalwart, right? The, uh, no, 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 the, no, no, no. From large caps, no. right? <laughs> yes, stalwart from the large caps and from the mid caps. I think from the large caps, we it will be still be one of the banks. It could be an access bank. Yeah. It could be an access bank. I Not Indusind? Or do you think it will no. be a close call? I think it will be access bank. Yeah. I think it's going to be Why? access bank. I think four, five years, nothing much. I think they've got it. Hmm. They've now got the, they've cracked the code. Why are you whispering access bank? You I said loudly. <laughs> okay, <I'm, laughs> so I think it's, they've cracked the code after a long time. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's now got whatever, limited time left, right? Maybe a few quarters, maybe one, two years for his term or whatever it is. I think he'll do it now. Everything that could go wrong with them went wrong. And valuation gap. The valuation gap is phenomenal. So if the market starts seeing him go towards those ROEs of 15, 16, 17, 18, if that starts to happen, he'll get re-rated big time. But Nilesh, the underdogs have made a comeback, whether it is ITC or whether it is Virat Kohli. But Texas has also have been an underdog only. You, know? you think I mean, like that? I mean, unlike, see, last year who's performed? ICICI Bank yeah. and State Bank of yeah. India. Yeah. HDFC Bank has been for the last one year an underdog, but he's still got the merger issue. We don't know how the merger issue will play out, etc., etc. All that will happen over the next 6 to 12 months. Axis Bank has no issue with him right now. It's like a clean. So my can I say that is Nadej Shah's Murat pick? I think so. Don't own it. But if you ask me who can be like really that Kohli, I mean, from a setback to a comeback. That's what Kohli is, right? And who right? within mid-caps would do the trick? Many contenders, yeah. many contenders. It could be an ID. It could still be an IDFC First Bank. It could still be a Federal Bank. It could still be an Angel Outside One. Outside banks. Um, I think ICICI Lombard. Mm. Uh, he's been down and under for whatever now two three years. Again, a good chance for him to kind of have a comeback. So it could be them. All right, we'll get the pre-open rates in uh, seconds from now, and then uh, first ra pre-open rates for a uh, new Sambat here. Naya Saal, Nai Shuruwat. The pre-open rates are indicating that we are in for a grand start. 17,800 is what the pre-open rates are indicating for the Nifty. 123 points up for the Sensex. So, I mean, that will get adjusted. I don't think Nifty and Sensex will be able to maintain that kind of a gap. So, I think Sensex automatically will start uh, adjusting on the higher side. So, 17,800 Nifty is indicating that we are in for a good start and a decent start. Before we uh, just go back to Nilesh, I'll request uh, uh, you know my producer to fire the one-year chart of the Nifty. And that is where, I guess, uh, Nilesh, while we may talk about comeback in Adani, our performance in ITC, Mahindra and Mahindra hitting a new all-time high. But the index doesn't reflect index that. Index does not reflect that. Yeah. That is the, that is the <laughs> grain. I mean, the grain of the truth is that the index in last one year has given you no returns. Yeah, absolutely, because you have a large pocket, which is the IT services, yeah. which has really not gone anywhere. If at all, it probably is down and down significantly. Um, I'm not sure if Reliance has kind of, in a way, gone, uh, has appreciated in any way in the last one year. Uh, the two H HDFC Bank, HDFC, uh, again, these are all heavyweights. Reliance, HDFC Bank, HDFC, Infosys, TCS, Wipro, all put together. These are like half a dozen names, which are huge heavyweights. And they probably have either been flat or they have been down over the last one year, which has offset a lot of gains which, you know, m and or ICICI Bank or ITC, any of them, they have made, they have offset those kind of gains. And that's what is beginning to see in the Nifty itself. But Nilesh, uh, has IT fallen enough to be bought again? I probably think that it has fallen enough in the sense that it has, all, it's, a, it's been a huge underperformer. Yes. Going forward, I don't think it'll be an underperformer. I think it will be a market performer. Uh, another one to two quarters of consolidation still required. Mm. My sense is IT will bottom out when the US officially declares that we are in a recession. Mm. Today they still talk about a recession. But the day the United States declares that yes, we are formally in a recession, my sense is that's where IT will bottom out. That's the time to kind of go aggressive on IT at that point of time. So maybe there's still some pain and that event is probably two quarters away, maybe sometime around the early part of 2023, maybe sometime around March, April, is 
is when we'll get a better sense on this. So, in fee TC has persistent? I think for now, I don't think one should just kind of in a way just observe them. No, after two quarters. I think they might, they, they'll end up becoming good buys. I think particularly, I think Infosys is really standing out amongst yeah, all these is, names. It is, yeah. Valuations are reasonable. Some of the initiators that they have taken, especially in context of moonlighting mm. and all of that, uh, they have really been kind of made some very strident moves, um, which is something which is getting acknowledged already. What it looks like that from the big boys, it seems to be Infosys, which probably will lead the pack. But again, I still think you, we still have another one to two quarters before we clearly say that this is now the time to buy aggressively. In terms of valuations, it's probably trading at about 26, 27 times trailing earnings. Mm -hmm. Long term averages are around 25. Any number around 25, below 25, I think will create a nice opportunity in a large cap frontline stock like Infosys.